Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, the sad thing about living in a narcissistic society is um, the fact that there are so many narcissistic people um, that, or the behavior has become so toxic, I should say, that it's actually has become normalized and what I would and most people once you get an understanding of what abuse looks like or what madness looks like you find yourself saying I cannot believe that I've been interacting this way or either interacting with people this way that's what happens when you first start getting well the road to recovery um and for instance, there's so many toxic songs on the radio. There are so many toxic behaviors that, especially women, except that are absolutely insidious, red flags. Um, in fact, they are just burning flaming flags that should make you run uh, a thousand miles away from this situation. However, you have misconstrued it as somebody really cares about you. And I'm going to give you an example. There was a guy, a, a young lady that said she met this guy. And she said he told her when she met him, I'm going to be at your neck. I'm going to be at you. You know, I'm going to be at your neck. Every time you look up, you're going to see me. And I'm just going to shower you with love because that's how bad I want you. Um, and then the next day or a couple hours later, she saw flowers on her window. Now, for a person that's wounded, they will be so flattered. They will be so flattered by that behavior. They will be like, oh, this person thinks I'm so special. Look at me. But for a person that's been around the block a few times and know how uh, love bombing starts, what exactly love bombing is, bombing, and if you want to know what that, where that comes from, it's like a lot of times when you meet a lot of religious people, you know how they shower you with love when you first go and visit their church. They be like, <laughs> oh, we thank the Lord for you. Thank God you came and visited us today. Oh, no, and I seen the look of glory on your face. Oh, the Lord got something special for you. The Lord got a special gift for you. I'm so glad you came. I can feel the spirit of God moving in you. And I'm so glad you decided to be a part of our ceremony today. Why don't you come on up here and be praised by the Lord? Y'all come and look at Sister So-and-So. See, that's that love bombing type of shit. Oops. I'm sorry. Type of stuff. And when that happens... Usually people that haven't gotten a lot of compliments when they were young or they suck all this stuff up and nobody ever made them feel special, then they run to the preacher, you know, for validation. And you already know that can end all bad, all bad. So, you know, I'm saying that to say. When somebody tries to do something too quick, too fast, and trying to hurry up and suck you into a relationship, trying to already uh, get it stamp approved by rushing to all these life changing um, situations, like you know, why don't why don't we why don't we go together? Or why don't, let's get married? Or um, you know, be my girl? You know, whatever. All these things that are happening at a rapid pace is because the person can't deal with themselves. And once they get a hold to you, because of your vulnerabilities, they are going to attach onto you like a parasite and begin to er erode your self-confidence, your self-esteem, um, all those things that make you the beautiful person that you are the impact that you are. And they're going to exploit all of those weaknesses inside of you. 
So it's real important that you understand what love bombing looks like. Too, too quick. It's too quick. And everything is happening, it seems, as a, at a rapid pace. Look out for those people that, that shower you right away with everything. You don't need that. And if you got your own thing going on, you should be aware and consider that a red flag. If somebody's just bringing shit at your feet and putting it down there, but they're expecting you to bite like they're putting a hook, taking a hook and putting a worm on it and just throwing it in there. Really. Really, it. See who take the bait. Okay? So you remember that. And all right, I'm not going to stay on that long, but it's called love bombing. Don't be love bombed. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.